DJ Doom, chop the screen. Hey, what up? Welcome to another um album review. On this video, I'm going to review the classic uh, rap album by, by, the, by the late rapper Craig Mack called Project Funk the World. This, I think this is the first, uh, th this is the second release, uh, second release on Bad Boy Records after a Notorious Big's Ready to Die by like a week or so. Okay, it was released September twentieth, nineteen ninety four, and it was like a it was like a platinum selling. It was a platinum a smash with the with the uh, with the single flavor in your ear. Okay, like um, in, in my in my opinion, this this album uh, came out in nineteen ninety four. Uh, nineteen ninety four was a very good year. Nineteen ninety four was the year all the good all the good music uh, came out. It came into fruition and whatnot. This this album and this album was no exception. This album spawned three three singles: "Flavor in Your Ear," "Get Down," and "Making Moves with Puff." Okay, uh, uh, with with these like uh, the way uh, the way um, Craig Mack flowed on this album, the way he he put it down, he 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 uh he was lyrically almost lyrically matched up with, with Notorious B.I.G., even though he wasn't a better lyricist than Big, he, he was right up there with him. His, his work, his uh, his ability to uh, form words, and uh, his ability to spit and, uh, and create rhymes was almost damn near unmatched. And he was prophetic in his in his style of uh, in his style of rapping. Especially, like, uh, you can listen to some of his songs and tell that he was, uh, that he had, that he was destined for something other than uh, rapping. Cause like after after his second album, he he uh, he quit rap, and, and and became involved in the church. But like uh, this this uh this uh this uh funk, this funk album. I mean this uh, uh funk the world album, of of eleven killer tracks where he just be spitting the, spitting that fire with those classic ninety four those ninety four sounding beats. The beats on here, uh are are, are um, or or like or like uh, or like um. Or put in that era, that that early '90s era, that '94 era, where like like, which had that certain distinct sound. If you listen to any rap, any rap album that came out in 1994, it had that distinct, unique sound compared to anything that came before or after it. And like a uh, funk, the world had had that feel to it. Like with with a uh, with, with the long intro and like uh, with songs like Funk the World, Get Down. I like Get Down because like a uh, he he um he he uh. He he was rapping in a personification of being some type of thunderstorm, and he was uh, displaying his lyrical style, his lyrical feel, and like uh, and like I, I I like I like how he used all his metaphors and similes in these certain type of tracks, like especially with, with tracks like Get Down or Making Moves with Puff, and like uh, and like he 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 would make these uh these these weird sound effects like chomp chomp chomp, and um and then like take take words words and then like uh and then um t uh, and perfectly craft them with uh, personifications, metaphors, and, and some oxymorons, and then, like, uh, and, uh, like, make his own style, like, him, him and a biggie, uh, were, were two different rappers, but they, oh, but they were, they were lyrically epic, okay, they were literally, lyr lyrically epic, especially with this, with, with albums like this, and with, with tracks like Making Moves with Puff, where he, where he's rapping about, uh, uh, like, uh, trying, trying to build, Bad Boy Records with Puff Daddy, aka Diddy, at the time, and then like uh, and like uh, with, with tracks like that, Judgment Day, uh, Mainline, like I I like songs like that. Main, like my my favorite songs on here are Get Down, Mainline, Making Moves with Puff, Welcome to 1994, Flavor in Your Ear, and Real Raw, like uh, those those that the feeling and the vibe of those of those tracks. It just puts you in the mood. He, he like he reminds me of that dude, like a uh, Craig Mack. Like a uh, how can I put this? He reminds you of that of that dude at the McDonald's flipping the burgers who can spit fire while while uh, while um while while, uh, while cooking up your meal. Like uh, that, that's that's who Craig Mack reminds me of. Uh, the McDonald's burger flipper. 
who, who can spit fire. And you be thinking like, damn, man, what's, what's he doing? Like, he, he, he's spitting that ish. But, like, what's he doing in this position? And, like, uh, of course, with tracks like that. And then, like, uh, I think uh, track number 10, when God, when God, it's called When God uh, Comes, he says on on, on this, like, uh, on a, this is like the only lyrics he. These are this is the only song that he has lyrics. He has lyrics for everything else. Nah, because like like some of the lyrics is like what the fuck on um, on when God comes. He said what the fuck going on in the inside biz. Shit ain't raw no more. Fake is how it is. I hear brothers talking about shooting and killing, then going home and chilling, fronting like a villain. Let me tell you something real. Is how the max feel. I ain't no criminal and represent no steel. I tell you one thing. MCs better walk slow. The max on the earth. To, to let you know I'm on a mission from the kingdom of God to do away with MCs that represent Nimrod. He said, you MCs have been too bad. So where you going to go now? Ice, hold on. He said, where you going to go now? Ice, you're going to wish you had. When MCs disappear, it's my fault. It's time to put all the it's t time to put all the madness to a flying hawk. And radio, y'all need to be ashamed for pumping murder, murder, murder all up in our brain. I'll tell you now, Big Papa don't like it, representing truth when the Mac starts to mic it. I hope the uh, subject don't turn you away, but the whole hip-hop generation need to pray. Yeah, like, uh, when, you, when you heard songs like that, uh, when you heard songs like that, you could kind of tell that uh, he had that prophetic feel or that prophetic vibe and that he was destined for something else. And uh, lo and behold, he ended up, he ended up going that route. With songs like "When God Comes" and then a tracks like "Welcome to 1994," oh man, that, that's that's a he and he ended this album perfectly with that with that track alone. But man, this is an awesome album by uh by Craig Mack. It's it's unfortunate he didn't he didn't go far as far uh as he should have uh uh musically. But then I understand he, uh, he had a he he chose a different path and that that that's him. But like uh, th this is an excellent album by Craig Mack. The best songs on here are "Funk the World," "Get Down," "Making Moves with Puffs," "Flavor in Your Ear," "That Y'all," "Main Line," "When God Comes," and "Real Raw." Yeah, like th this was an excellent album. From a scale to one to ten, I give this a I give this a nine and a half. Where's Craig Mack? Then you two played me at the tabernacle. Jumping up and down with the prophet of God, giving praise to my king who was bruised and scarred. Set me free, gave me a charge. A night to remember like El Barge. I gave away my cars, turned in all my guns, cause the Mac stayed with beef like hamburger buns. I sold my home, I moved my family, South Carolina, so they could stay mad at me. If I stayed in New York, it's just another trap.